It's Arnold Week here at Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Thursday, March 2nd, 2017. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. This weekend, we're going to see some of the best men's physique athletes in the business square off in what's shaping up to be an epic clash of the titans. But I still can't help but think of adding a little bit of Matt Acton into the mix would make things just a little bit more interesting. This week, the perpetually shredded top 10 Olympian released a little preseason progress teaser, giving his fans a sneak peek at what he's bringing to the table this season. Matt Acton is one of those rare breeds who never ever shows up at anything less than his best. And once it's time for the New York Pro to roll around, I'd be willing to bet just about anything that this guy will be right in the mix of things. Last year, we saw a handful of standout rookies step right in and create their own lane from day one. And this season, it looks like the rookie torch is being passed down to former Arnold Amateur winner, Regan Grimes. Over the last year and change, Grimes has been like a one-man wrecking crew in the gym, packing on a ridiculous amount of muscle to a physique that's already blessed with incredible shape and structure for a guy his size. As long as he doesn't try to play the size game and sticks to doing what he does best, this kid could very easily end up being the season's most outstanding rookie. There's nothing that screams hard work in bodybuilding more than an athlete who shows up at that sort of throwback 1990s take no prisoners sort of conditioning. And all you have to do is take one look at Zane Watson and see that this guy has been literally working his butt off. A few days out from doing battle on the 212 stage at the Arnold Classic for the first time in his career, the third year pro released a handful of progress photos showing off what might end up being the nuttiest conditioning of any athlete in the entire division. Watson is one of the few guys who just seems to always bring that lunch pail and hard hat mentality with him everywhere he goes. And as long as he can avoid the last minute disasters, I think he has a legitimate shot as ending up and as a top six finisher. Speaking of hard hat and lunch pail athletes, is there any figure athlete out there putting in more work right now than Luis Rogers? This week, one of the fiercest competitors in figure was spotted crushing another one of her now legendary back workouts as she officially shifts gears into early prep mode. Pound for pound, Rogers might legitimately be the most improved athlete in the entire figure division over the past three seasons. And the look she's bringing to the Arnold Australia is on pace to be her best yet. A 100% Luis Rogers has proven to be a weapon of mass destruction. And it wouldn't surprise me one bit to see her spice things up in that top six. <laughs> You'd think that after a brutal 16-week contest prep, that Charles Dixon would be starting to run out of steam. But then again, I guess that probably explains why there's only one Charles Dixon. This week, the tank was spotted knocking out one last late-night torture session before hopping on a plane and heading to Columbus, Ohio, where he'll be looking to settle some unpaid debts that he has with the Arnold Classic stage. Word out of the Dixon camp is that this year's look is going to be bigger, sharper, and harder than anything he's ever brought to the Arnold Classic stage. And as we've seen time and time again, a fully armed and loaded Charles Dixon is not someone you want to mess with.